Hey guys, Herbal Prepper here, and today I'm going to show you how to make char cloth. Now this is extremely easy. Char cloth is not hard to make at all. Um, if I were to cut and edit my video uh, videos, this video would be probably about one minute long because that's literally how simple it is. But I don't cut and edit, so I'm going to take you all the way through the steps uh, from start to finish. And if you guys get bored watching while it's in the process of making, just fast forward. Alright, so uh, what you see here is just uh, some, let me take my gloves off, it's just um, my old tincture shirts. Um, you guys know that when I make my tinctures, uh, I just take a t-shirt or uh, sometimes if I find them at Walmart for a good price, I'll just buy them brand new and I'll cut them up. Uh, white 100% cotton t-shirts. You can use uh, linen as well, but linen's more expensive. I use linen in my bug out bag for... Um, my wraps and stuff because linen is actually a very very healing property which is uh, which is why you find it in the Bible okay so uh, this is just uh, one of the old tinctures uh, cloths that I use cut it up into strips and when I say into strips I literally mean just cut it up into strips and then from here uh, depending on your size container uh, you want to cut it up into little squares so just cut it there cut it there and then so on and so forth until you have little squares and the little squares will look a little bit like uh, this right here so doesn't have to be perfect that's a bigger square this one's a smaller one there you go um, and I'm using an Altoids can because I had recently discovered that Altoids actually contained uh, pork and so I quit eating them because they contained pork uh, so I started using the cans, uh, the tin cans, to make my uh, char cloth because it was just the perfect size. Uh, and I ended up coming out with a nice um, good bit of char cloth here like that. So now that you know what you start with, so you start with a shirt, cut it up into strips. And from the shirt, you just want to cut it up into little squares or to fit your container. Uh, your container, guys, you just want it to be uh, relatively kind of airtight. So listen here when I, okay, it doesn't have to be anything perfect. Let's see, it doesn't want to open up too easy. So if you bend it up, it's not going to work as well for you, and you'll know if it's not working. Um, but anyways, from this point, you're just going to want to pop a little hole in the top or the bottom. I prefer the top. Um, and let me see if I can't give you a good zoom in here. Oop, zoom back out and there we go so it's a very small little hole and guys you can adjust the hole as need be uh, it's not a precise science here just poke a little hole and as you can see the hole is smaller than the O of the o of the Altoids the O in the word Altoids so that kinda gives you a reference so basically from here guys is you're going to put your uh, cotton or your linen or whatever in here close it up and then from here you are going to want to, give me a second, I'm going to go back on. You're going to want to pop it over a fire, or in my case, my wood burning stove. So I've got this wood burning stove going pretty good. And because this is tin and it's very, very thin, it's not going to take long at all to uh, heat up. So I'm just going to pop it right there. And uh, if you have some pokers or anything like that, just kind of push it up in there and there we go and uh, what you're gonna start to notice is out the top of the can you will see it smoking and it's kind of hard because there's a lot of heat coming off this you see it's starting to smoke a little bit well eventually when the can gets hot enough it's gonna have a little flame that's gonna bust out of there and that's basically your contents of the can burning up a little bit and this is a good sign. This is a sign that uh, the cloth is turning in. There it goes. This is a good sign that the cloth is actually turning into char cloth. Now if you look, you can see it all around the edges. That's because it's not perfectly sealed. Well, if it were perfectly sealed, uh, you wouldn't have that. Um, but you'd also kind of have to worry about the gases and explosion. So this is a perfect uh, little container for me. I'm going to close this back up, guys. Uh, it's actually really hot. The only thing I hope at this point doesn't happen is that big log that I've got lifted up so there's good airflow doesn't fall down on it because that will make it a lot harder for me getting it out with one hand. 
So basically, guys, you're just going to sit here, and like I said, this is the part where you can fast forward. Uh, if I cut and edit, then you wouldn't have to fast forward, but I don't cut and edit. Sorry about that. You'll just have to sit here and listen to my lovely voice for the next few seconds. Um, so basically, guys, what's happening is it's going to turn um, the, the cloth, or whatever cloth you chose to use, into uh, char. And this means that it's not completely burnt up and uh, yet it's not uh, in its full state that it was prior to being heated. Now what you're doing is you're trying to get something that's going to catch a spark much easier because this is going to catch a spark much easier than this would. So even if you expose as much surface area of this as remotely possible, it will not be near as good as this without exposing the surface area. So these are very, very flimsy. Let me see if I can't open this up. Let me have to use my mouth. There we go. All right, so if you look down in the bag, this will be extremely thin pieces here. And all of this is what's going to catch a, a little spark uh, very, 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 very easy. And from there, you can put it in uh, your tender, tender, and then from there, your kindling. So, um... You're only going to need about, let's see, depending on how hot your fire is, you should only need about two to five minutes. Uh, mine's a wood burning stove, so it's not letting the heat go out like an open fire would. So if you're doing this uh, outside over an open fire, chances are you're going to um, uh, need a few more minutes. So basically what you're looking for, and it's ready, guys, is you're looking for that fire to go out and a little bit of smoke to start coming out the top of that hole there. That means everything inside is now burnt up and uh, it's ready to remove from the heat. So this is where it's gonna get interesting, guys. So I'm fixing to try and not burn myself. So I'm gonna set the camera down, give me a few minutes. It's gonna be a little shaky here at this point. Let me see if I can keep the camera on it. Bear with me, guys. You might not get to see everything, but like I said, all right, there we go. Get my other glove on. And like I said, from this point, guys, you're just uh, you're wanting to pull out this right here, and you're going to then set it down and let it cool. It is not going to take long to cool because it again is uh, a very very thin can. And once it's cooled off, you just want to open up your can and check on the contents on the inside. And the contents on the inside should look a little bit like that right there. And let me see if I can go ahead and speed this process up and do that for you. My husband would kill me if he knew I was... Well, there you go. See how hot it is? It just burnt the corner of the... <laughs> All right, let me see. Put this camera down. Tricky, tricky, tricky. All right, let's see if I can do this, guys. Bear with me. I don't have tripod or anything. Low, low budget here, guys. All right. Whoop. All right. Let's see what's going to be the best. There we go. Pop that open. And let's look on the inside. There you go. Now you've got some char cloth, guys. Let this cool down real good and then put it in your bag with the rest of your stuff. I like to let it cool down all the way before I do that. Um, and keep doing this with an entire shirt and you'll have tons of char cloth. So guys, I hope this long video from start to finish was a blessing to you. Now you know how to do it. It's very simple, very, very easy. And uh, now you can have some extra redundancy for your fire tender. So guys, hope the video was a blessing. Till next time.